In this video, we're going to learn how to check if a number is prime or not using Python. First, let's talk about what a prime number is. So a prime number is a natural number greater than one with only two factors, the number one and the number itself. This definition uses the terms natural number and factors. What do those things mean? So the natural numbers are the numbers one, two, three, and so on. Positive whole numbers with no decimal place. A factor is a number that divides another number with no remainder. So for example, three is a factor of six because six divided by three is equal to two with zero remainder. But three is not a factor of seven because seven divided by three is equal to two with one remainder. So when we say that a prime number is a natural number greater than one with only two factors, the number one and the number itself, we can use this to detect whether a number is prime or not. So for example, if we want to check if six is prime, we could check all the numbers between two and five to see if they're a factor of six. Here with six divided by two, we get three remainder zero. That means that two is a factor of six. And so six is therefore not a prime number because it has a factor that is not one or the number itself, six. Now we can do something very similar to check if seven is a prime number or not. In the case of seven, we're gonna check the numbers between two and six to see if any one of them are a factor of seven. And it turns out that none of them are. Seven divided by two has a remainder, seven divided by three has a remainder, and so on. So because there are no factors between two and one less than seven, six in this case, we can say that seven is prime. So this is how we can check to see whether a number is prime or not. This is going to be our algorithm. We're going to check all the numbers between two and one less than the number itself. If any of those numbers are a factor, that means the number is not prime. If none of those numbers are a factor, that means the number is prime. Let's try to implement this now in Python. So the first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter the number, and we'll store what they enter into a variable. We'll say number is equal to int input, and then enter number. So the input function is going to prompt the user to enter the number. The string that the user enters is going to be returned from the input function. Int is gonna take that string and convert it to an int value. We're gonna take that int and store it into number. What we'll do is start off with the assumption that the number is prime. We're going to try to demonstrate that it's not prime by finding a factor between two and one less than the number itself. If we can't find a factor, then we can confirm that the number is prime. If we do find a factor, we know that it's not. So we'll create a variable called isPrime and set it equal to true. Now, if the number entered is greater than one, we're interested in looking at it because it could be a prime number or not. If the number is not greater than one, we know it can't be a prime number. So we'll actually have an if to handle that case. We'll say if the number is greater than one, we're gonna look at it. Otherwise, we're gonna tell the user that the number must be greater than one. So we'll say number must be greater than one. If the number is greater than one, we're gonna use a for loop to try to find a factor in the range of two and one less than the number itself. And that's what this range here will do. Range is gonna have this for loop run for each number between two and one less than this number. We could actually test it out. So here if I said print the divisor, this will let us know what range of numbers this for loop is going to run for. So for example, if we save this and we run our program here, if I enter in the number seven, we're checking the numbers between two and six, and that's exactly the range of numbers we wanna check. Let's put in the logic to check if any of these numbers are a factor. We'll have an if statement here, and we're gonna say if the number 
modulus the divisor is equal to zero, then is prime is equal to false. So this modulus operator is going to return the remainder of dividing this number by this divisor. So if the remainder of the number divided by the divisor is zero, that means this divisor is a factor. And we've discovered a factor in this range. That means the number is not prime. And we're going to set is prime to false. Once we've discovered one factor, we can stop because that's enough to tell us the number is not prime. So we'll actually put a break here and the break will actually stop the execution of the for loop. Now by this point, we'll have discovered whether the number is prime or not. And we'll do a check here. We'll say if is prime is true, that means the number is prime. That means at no point did we discover a factor because is prime remains true as it was set here. And so we'll say print number is prime. Otherwise, if is prime is false, we'll print out number is not prime. And if we save this, we can now check to see whether numbers are prime or not. So we'll run our program and I'll put in the number 11 and I get 11 is prime and it is. We could try six. We get six is not prime and that makes sense because it's not. We could try seven and we get seven is prime. So the program appears to be working. We could add some prints to our code to help us understand how the program is working. So for example, we could say here, print checking and then the divisor. So this will let us know which numbers we're checking to see if they're a factor or not. We could also say print divisor is a factor to let us know when we've discovered a factor. So for example, if we run the program now, we could enter the number six. And here we can see that we're checking if two is a factor and two is a factor. So six is not prime. We could run it again, this time with seven. And now we can see that we're checking two, three, four, five, and six, but we never get that any of them are a factor. So seven is prime. Using prints like this can help us understand how our program is actually working internally when it's actually executing. One interesting case is the prime number two. So two is the only even prime number. Let's see if two is identified as a prime number with our program. We'll run a program and we'll try the number two. And we get two is prime. So our program is working correctly. But how is it working? Because in the case of two, we never check to see if any of the divisors are a factor. This is actually okay. So in the case of two, we're gonna have range two and two. And so our for loop is never gonna actually execute because in this case here, the start value of our range, which is two, is already equal to the stop value of our range, which is two. And so the for loop body will never execute and is prime will remain true. And that's okay because two is prime. Now, one more thing we could do is put this logic to determine whether a number is prime or not inside of a function. So that way we can call the function again and again with different numbers to determine whether or not they're prime. We could have the function return true if the number is prime and false if the number is not prime. So we'll actually delete this here and we'll say def check prime and we'll use number as a parameter. Then we'll tab over all this logic here to make it part of the function body. And we'll actually delete these prints here now because we don't really need these. Those were there to help us understand our program. This if here will actually take out because we don't want to output whether or not the number is prime. We actually want the function to return true if the number is prime and false otherwise. So we're going to return is prime, whether the number is prime or not. In the case of the number not being greater than one, 
we'll actually just return false because we know the number is not prime if that's the case. So now we can test out the function with some test arguments. We'll say if check prime is true when it's past the argument seven, then we'll output that seven is prime. And we expect check prime to return true in this case because seven is prime. What about six? If not check prime with the argument six, then we're going to output that six is not prime. And again, we expect this print to run because check prime should return false in the case of six because six is not a prime number. Not should flip that to true. And so we should get that six is not prime. Let's save this and we'll try running our program. And we get seven is prime and six is not prime as expected. So this is how we can check to see whether a number is prime or not using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.